Ruth here, and this is just a, a bundle of little things that I got from my friends from Instagram and eBay for this, these two in here. I believe that's two anyway. Um, so I guess I'll do with this one first. Um, it's, it's very, because of my address and their address, it's very cute. She put in some Pokemon washi tape on the front and bottom, and she even got two matching for uh, global Forever USA uh, stamps. I don't think I actually had this one before. I've always had a green flower. I think there was another flower color, but anyway, it uh, goes well with the washi tape. So. I shall be uh, cutting that out and uh, sticking it in <coughs> my washi tape scrapbook or just my normal scrapbook if I can't really get it off. Uh, so this one, it's a note. Hello, thank you so much for your purchase. Truly appreciate it. Enjoy the cards. Chaotic card shop. P.S. Yes, make sure to check out Beeberry. She's the mastermind, beh mastermind creator behind all of my stationery supplies. Hmm. Interesting. So here's their card. Custom hand-painted Pokemon and other trading cards. Visit them on Instagram on Chaotic Card Shop. Where there is, um, no, what was this level for? TikTok or something? I don't actually use... Um, yeah, anyway. Yep. That's that is cute. Hmm. I've got a 15% off any custom artwork. Hmm. That's cute. Now, this is who you're talking about. X B Berry X. That's a cute little card there. So these are the cards that I bought from her. Uh, Ball Guy, Full Art Trainer, to go with my other trainer cards. And this, Galarian Moltres V. I haven't really opened very many of the uh, newer sets lately, so I'm just currently just buying the cards that I like, really. Since I'm spending all my money on pins and other <coughs> anime goodies from Sweet Sweet Manga and current and from my friend Jay since so I'm buying some some of the stuff that are in here, for instance. So I just Put these up here so I can take pictures later. Let's just put that there. See, we had two people from eBay. Okay. Honestly, one of them came, well, both of them came in different. Um, different um, envelope. So, let's see, this one belongs in this one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. So, this one was from, I bought from the Games Direct Limited. And this one was the this. I don't know if you can really see the hollow where I am anyway. There you go. You sort of see it there. This is card number 404 Orpho. For Animal Crossing Amiibo Series 5. So this will go into my collector's album that I got recently. And this one is from 
I don't know. But it is another Animal Crossing card. And I can't remember if they actually had it in a, in a sleeve or if I put it in a sleeve myself. But as you see, this is Gulliver, card number 418. Also from Series 5, because it's the only card series I'm actually buying. Hmm. Dispatch date, 24th of January. What does it say on this one? Hmm, also 24th of January. It came from two different people. The one of them, I have to say, was very badly packaged. It was just, I don't believe it was this card. It's card in a flimsy plain white envelope with no top loader or anything. Well, both of them didn't have top loader, but uh, this one had a do not bend envelope with cardboard. This one had nothing, so it's very disconcerting. So hopefully the other card that I bought from Game Summited recently will have actual packaging. So throw these two away. Probably kept it for the uh, for the box opening here. So, let's move, whoops, let's move locking my awesome figure in there. So here, I'm going to keep them in the uh, box, because I don't want to get dusty for a minute, but I am keeping it in its plastic, so. I don't know if that really counts. So here. So I'm just gonna put it in so I don't lose them, you know? Look at that. All these animals are getting texts at me. Alright. So, he has landed along with Culver down there. The other one of the special cards I'm getting from another eBay seller. I found them each for like £3.49, £3.69, yeah. So I'm getting those. I've got some of the, uh, well, I'm getting the rest of the comics from Jay. But obviously, they're not here yet. Because she hasn't sent them yet, obviously. <laughs> and I thought I might as well add this on since I just recorded the other part earlier this morning and I just looked at the, uh, post and this came in and this was from an ebay buy same as before the uh, games direct limited and still this one came in rather well it's not as flimsy as some envelopes but it's still just plain envelope piece of paper and card so this is Animal Crossing Amiibo Series 5, card 408, which is Amiibo. And you can see the hollow on this better since I have my actual room light on. So, I'm just gonna, might as well just put it in. I'm doing this quickly because I have to take the dinner out soon. So, da da da. There we go. And right next to her sister, Sable. I think it was just those. Yeah, that label is the next one. Which, uh, 
I don't think I bought that one yet. Or I did. I can't remember. But, anyway. There it is. Here's a better, better hollow on these ones. Anyway, so yeah, so that's it. So, um, I don't know when I'm going to slip this clip in, but there we go. So this... Obviously, it didn't come in that. It came in a, in a box. I already ordered two other key rings along with this one that she was selling from her collection. But those ones were a birthday present from my friend. So I already sent those off. So I guess I'll, I'll put a little picture of what they were at the end. Yeah, but otherwise, I mainly got this one for myself. Um, let's see. That over there. I'm very cute. Hope you love everything. Thanks, man. Yeah. It's a cute little post it. Hmm, it's an official thing, too. That's cute. It's not my, out of the three, it's not my favorite pairing, but. I do highlight that pairing too. So this, oh, handy tape. Um, I just leave the tape on the side so I can use it again. I probably will use tape. And this is an acrylic standee. It's printed double sided by the looks of it. That's nice. So this one has a background. That is, yes, well from what it looks like, that's the back, so this is the front, so this is the background, just slips in there, and this is the front, I mean, actually it could be the front or the back, but I think the front is this way. This is one of the uh, manga or the Korean manhwa that I enjoy reading right now. It's very cool. Um, it's called uh, The Villainous Who Reverses the Hourglass. It's a uh, time travel manhwa. And I really enjoy reading it. It hasn't finished yet. But a lot of the Korean based ones recently that I'm reading are very I'm in my genre that I like reading right now. So like I guess for a bit of the spoiler, that's the main character. That's the prince, and they, they get, I haven't gotten married yet, um, and then this is the, the king of the neighboring kingdom, and obviously this is the hourglass, I quite like this, as I said, it's very cool, and acrylic standings take up maybe Less space than the figures. Because, like, for instance, there's my Kirito Nijio one. 
in that figure it takes up pretty much space. And like over here we got my Byakuya acrylic stand and my Oyushima acrylic stand. Like I got some more over there along with the Kakashi figure. But yeah. Hmm, maybe I know y'all show one up there. Anyway. Yeah. I do quite like this. She was getting rid of some stuff from her collection. And I uh, swiped the sets the minute I saw it in her story. <laughs> I think she sold it to me for... 8 pounds? Or something like that? 8, 9 pounds? Anyway. The key rings were like... Maybe around three, three pounds. But anyway, yes, that is everything. I totally forgot to take a picture of those two cards. Oh, whoops. That's so into putting them away that I forgot to take a picture. I'll, I'll do that after now. I totally forgot, but these came in that package too from uh, Sweet Sweet Mango. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was under some stuff inside that envelope that I put in there to store things further because I had some loose uh, tissue paper that I put in there. Shoot. Hmm, it's been a while since I saw the scotch tape. Uh, anyway. And this is one of the key rings that I bought for myself. This is part of the uh, official merch thing that I ordered, which I don't know if I should just open it now or open it with the other box I have across the room, because I still need to open that. But I haven't opened it because I don't have anywhere th to put things. But I mean, it's tiny, so I think I might just open it now. I'm going to open it now. Okay, so. <clears throat> this is from the collection that they wanted their downsizing. This is a cute Victor and Makachin. So that's a tissue box. Because you see tissues. But anyway, yeah, this is a cute Victor. If you didn't notice, it's from Yuri on Ice. It's so cute. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so that's that one. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh, that's the final one. Um, there's some blue washi tape on it, too. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that is. Blue washi tape. Do not like it? <clears throat> so here is a mini acrylic standee. It'd be helpful if I put it actually in, in the picture frame. You know what? Let me just... There. So I can just hold it up. So this is the back. That's so cute. It's so tiny, a lot tinier than I thought it would be, actually. But, um, let's see. I was charged, uh, five pounds for this one. And it's so cute. And it's a, uh, official merch with its own, you know, holographic sticker thing. That's so cute. I don't know if you know this. This is... Let's see. Um, I think. Yeah, I have his brother up there. Over oh, really? there. It's, it's, it's a blurry. I can't believe really to focus. So, this is from the anime or. 
and a little ball chain so I wanted to put it on top of there to make it a key ring which I don't <laughs> pretty background too so I'll be keeping this hope it's in my scrapbook so these ones normally have a plastic film I think it's on both sides they're like just little flowers Here's Luigi with a black bunny and an uh, emperor smile with his uh, Gwyn uh, named Luigi as well. And here's the background. I'll just take off the uh, film or at least peel some of it off and I'll do some ASMR peel on this thing because I like how it sounds. I just need to find the ends first. Finally got them. So. battery died while I was doing it so uh, I like the sound and the feel of peeling it off not the finding it of course but uh, Here we have it. We got three pieces. So we put in the background first. Let me just put it down. <laughs> so the background goes in first. Like so. And then we put Nanji right here. Laxel. Then we put in the flowers. You know, for some reason, I don't know whether it's just me or it actually is. It looks like the. F I'm guessing it's flowers anyway. It looks like they got little feet and like the branches. Uh, and like this one looks like it's holding a bow and arrow. I mean, it could be just me, but yeah. <laughs> so this one goes in front, and ta-da! There is your scenery. It's so cute. And initially, I did order a variation as well to go along with this. But it turned out to be out of stock, unfortunately. Because he is my my main my main one I I uh, can see he's this is nice so lovely to look at. <laughs> anyway. Yes, so It's the wrong way. So yes. So isn't here cute? Obviously the black bunny represents my vision as well. 
These are cute. Let me see, yeah, so that's these two. Mm -hmm. That I also got from Sweet Sweet Mango. Sorry, I can resist. Yes, so. That is everything. Um, I do have another box from the Sweet Sweet Mango as well, but I shall do that in its own video because it, it's it's a fairly big box and, well, I need to first clean up my room a bit so I can have space and get a shelf for under my desk so I can put it up because there's like a very big acrylic stand in there that I need space so I can probably put it up because it is massive because it's the, the wedding one. Anyway, so, thank you for watching. Actually, I said this, so I'm going to insert this clip just before I say the outro. So there we go. Anyway, yes, so that is everything. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. And later with notifications. Over and out.